So this is Fraser from the National Schools Observatory again and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the photometry tools within JS9 to measure the brightness of our supernova and a couple of nearby comparison stars. First thing I do is go to analysis and photometry and I'm going to select new annulus region and it gives me a little set of three green circles and I'm going to drag that across to where I know the supernova to be. I know it's this star, this is the one that you'll see in the finder chart on the same page on the resources part of the website. The blue square I can use to drag that out and somewhere around about there we can then centralize again, that looks about good, pretty good there. Now I want that in an inner aperture to be an area of about 241 pixels and as you see the number of pixels there on this screen change, 241 is about there and I can also change the aperture, sorry, I can also change the annulus to make the outer and inner circles or the outer and the central circle larger and smaller. Round about there looks pretty good. Basically what I'm doing here is I'm sampling the brightness of the sky uh, and its contribution to the image as a whole. And we can use that to, to subtract from the other values later as you'll see in the third video. I can now create another annulus for the next star that I want to measure. So we click on new annulus region again and I can drag this one across to this star here and again using the blue square we can drag that out. It's reasonably centered there and again we'll change the value there to 241 so that we're measuring the same size aperture each time. For the third star again new annulus and we'll drag this one across to this star here and we'll open this up with the blue box just drag it down a bit and if we change this to 241 we're just about done so for each star there are four values recorded in the plot profile box on the left hand side of the screen three of these are the ones that we'll take forward to the Excel spreadsheet there's the star brightness the sky median and the number of pixels. With the star brightness and the sky median they're recorded to several decimal places. We don't need those, we can just take the integer, va integer value to the left hand side of the decimal point. In the final video I'll explain what we do with these values in Excel.